un rappel euh, de, de, du score, en fait, FAP 70 points, euh, de Cape Town Tigers 73 points. Merci beaucoup d'avoir accepté notre invitation, le coach François et euh, mon cher euh, Alexis. Merci. Coach, euh, quel est le sentiment ce soir J'ai l'impression que ça s'est joué sur très peu de choses. Juste avant le match, il y a un supporter qui m'a demandé en fait, mon avis sur ce match. Je lui ai dit que ça va être euh, un match très serré. Et c'est ce qu'on a vu euh, euh, sur, euh, sur euh, le, le, le terrain ce soir. Oui, euh, bonsoir tout le monde. Déjà, je voudrais féliciter Captain Tigers pour leur victoire. Euh, effectivement, c'est ce qui fait la beauté du basketball. Hein. Mmh. Euh, on savait que ça allait être serré parce que pour Cape Town, il fallait à tout prix cette victoire-là. C'était leur troisième rencontre. Je pense que euh, on, est, on est parti de malchance en malchance, mais ça fait partie du sport également. Et euh, ça s'est joué à une possession. Et Cape Town a pu y concrétiser. Que dire de plus Simplement félicitations. Mes joueurs ont fait ce qu'ils ont fait. Ils ont fait... Ils ont respecté les consignes, mais bon, que dire de plus On va se préparer pour le prochain match, qui est aussi important. All right, my question to the coach was uh, asking him how he, what was his uh, impressions immediately after the game, since the game that went right down to the wire, and of course, he started by thanking the Cape Town Tigers for putting up a great game. Um, he, to them, um, I mean, he, the coach said it was a much-needed victory for Cape Town Tigers since they were playing the third game in this night conference group stage and his team respected all the instructions that we're giving but of course it was a tough one uh, tonight and he's thanking the, the Cape Town Tigers for putting up a wonderful game. Alexis, est-ce que vous partagez uh, le même sentiment que le coach? Est-ce qu'il n'y a pas uh, une, une sorte de déception ce, uh, à la, uh, ce soir ou sur ce match qui me semble en fait c'était un match uh, prenable? Oui, toujours c'est c'est souvent très dur de faire des matchs. Mm -hmm. euh, aucun joueur ne vient jamais pour jouer et, et, et avoir une défaite. Mais, euh, comme a dit le coach, Cape Town est venu, ils ont joué. Euh, Cape, Cape Town est venu, ils ont joué, euh, ils ont joué leur match, ils ont joué dur, ils savaient qu'ils voulaient euh, carrément une victoire. Euh, mais bon, euh, voilà, c'est un match comme tous les autres. Et puis, euh, le plus difficile, c'est de se préparer pour le prochain match. Euh, euh, il va falloir plus d'énergie et, et plus de positivité dans le groupe euh, pour pouvoir avancer. Good. So, um, I was asking Alexi um, if he's the, in, in terms of how he, he, he feels and the rest of the team. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a game of basketball. The team. Uh, played well, but well, of course the, lo the loss to this uh, uh, great team from, from South Africa, the Cape Town Tigers, the most important for, for them will be to pick up the pieces and get the right motivation for the rest of the games uh, as from um, Friday. Questions? Julio. Question for Coach. Um, what was your message to your players on your last time out when there was like 38 seconds left and the game was tied at 70 points. Uh, Cape Town venait d'égaliser. À moi, il restait 38 secondes à jouer. Il était question pour nous de concrétiser notre attaque. Uh, on, a, on a demandé de jouer un de nos plays qui allait nous prendre 18 secondes. Mm -hmm. Ce qui a été fait. Mais malheureusement, le, en, en allant au panier, on a perdu le ballon. Donc, euh, <rire> que, que voulez-vous de plus On a essayé de récupérer le ballon, on n'a pas pu, on est allé de malchance en malchance. Et puis, euh, Captain a envoyé une contre-attaque et le joueur a pris un shoot à 3 points, à moins euh, 0,8 secondes. C'est ça aussi la beauté du basket. Hein? Donc, les joueurs ont fait ce qu'il fallait parce qu'ils ont appliqué ce qui a été dit. Maintenant, l'adversaire a réagi et a récupéré notre, notre attaque. Que dire de plus? That was a beautiful narrative from the coach. He was just explaining the last uh, 38 seconds of the game when he called the timeout. And the fact that the team ran out of luck. It was 
constantly running out of luck because each time they were leading in the game, the uh, the Cape Town Tigers team came back. But what specifically happened during the, the last 38 seconds of the game, he called the timeout. But in their uh, offensive uh, play, they lost the ball. And of course, uh, that made uh, Cape Town uh, Tigers to score the, the three-pointer with just 0. Uh, 0.8 seconds left to the end of the game. And, you know, it was just hard luck for FAP this night. Mm. Uh, Coach Francois, uh, Leonard Soms from ESPN. In their first two games, the Cape Town Tigers started better than they finished. Um, was it a surprise to you at all that in the fourth quarter this time, they were able to come back strong? Merci beaucoup. Bon, euh, il faudrait d'abord dire que le premier match, Cape Town n'était pas complet. Mm -hmm. C'était une équipe amoindrie par ses leaders, donc euh, ses deux Américains. Mm -hmm. donc, euh, mais on a vu Cape Town réagir très bien face aux Amalek hier. Donc, euh, Cape Town a mené jusqu'à la mi-temps, jusqu'au troisième carton, et puis il s'est laissé distancer. Je pense que c'est une superbe équipe. Je n'ai pas été surpris de, de les voir à ce niveau. Euh, nous avons peaufiné une stratégie qui a marché, c'est-à-dire parce qu'on savait que cette équipe-là avait des lacunes défensives énormes. Si vous avez bien vu, tous les joueurs majeurs de Cape Town étaient soit à 5 foot, soit à 4 foot. Bon, maintenant, il faut avoir la ressource, et la ressource est venue du banc d'équipe. La ressource est venue du numéro 1, Ganapano qui a porté ce match. Donc, euh, euh, on va travailler. Maintenant, on va, on va devoir travailler pour affronter Petro samedi et puis les Suites soudanais lundi et terminer avec le Zamalek. Rien n'est perdu pour nous. Hein. On reste positif, on sait ce qu'on veut. On ira à Kigali. Again, welcome to this uh, post-game press conference between a FAP of, from Cameroon and the Cape Town Tigers from South Africa. Um, I would give you a reminder of the final score of the game. FAP, uh, 70 points. The Cape Town Tigers, 73 points. And we have here with us uh, the head coach of the Cape Town Tigers, Boyson Rutten. And of course, our man, Mike Kabongo. Good evening, Good evening. coach. Good evening. It all went right down to the wire. This evening, this is the closest game, and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank how, you. how are you feeling tonight? Um, I'm, I'm feeling very pleased. <laughs> um, I've been here two days losing, coach. <laughs> it was not a good feeling. Um, but as I told you yesterday, yeah. we're building up the chemistry, we're building up. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, the first time with our full squad playing together, right. things just worked out. Not our best performance yet. Mm -hmm. um, I will say we're six out of ten. So we're building up towards our next game. Great. Mike, um, I, I saw you rushing into the press conference room like before yeah. and uh, you were like, you wanted to say a lot of things yeah. tonight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, first of all, you know, I wanted to be with the guys because we showed that we could play through adversity. Right. First and foremost, we didn't play an opponent that would back down. FAP is a great coach team. They've been playing together for years. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I know a couple of those guys in Afro basket, they play for the national team. Mm -hmm. So we were not just playing an opponent that was just going to come in here and walk through. And we will walk through them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, big shout out to Coach for staying calm throughout the whole game. Um, his first win and ball came in fashion. <laughs> we almost gave him a heart attack there. We're sorry for that, Coach. But that's what this league's about. Right. Any given night, any team can win, and we showed that tonight. And um, I'm just happy we're on the winning side. And um, definitely, we deserve to have a good off day and then regroup for our next game. Great, um, Coach. Before. Um we want to talk particularly about the, 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 the performance of, of, of Evans of Evans tonight leading the team. Do you have a word to say about that? Because it was something that was mentioned at the, by the FAP coach. Yes. You want, particularly want to single it out or you want to look at the team collectively as the performance? Yes, so, so I, I went to Evans today. I went to speak to him mm -hmm. um, and I told him, you must be calm and you must wait for the right shot. Um, and he was very matured mm -hmm. because the whole game, the ball didn't come to him. He didn't rush the shots mm -hmm. like yesterday. They tried to play ISO basketball. I'm proud of the way that he stepped up. He took the right shot. Um, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Good. 
questions? Question for Coach. Um, I just want to hear your opinion about the performance of um, Ben Muir, if I pronounce it correctly. This is the guy who came off the bench and uh, made quite a few key shots. What do you make of, of his performance tonight, please? Yes, um, yes, I'm very proud of Ben. Um, ben literally started at the bottom. He was just a practice player. You know, he's one of those guys that put in the hours. So this is a very, very, very big thing for him to perform at such a level. He puts in thousands of shots per week. So um, it was just a class performance from him, making the three in the corner first and making the other one on 45. That was the difference between us today, winning and losing. Right. Lena has a question. There is Mike who's here as well. Yeah. I, have a, <laughs> I have a question for, for both of you because I'd like to hear from the coach and I think Mike is the best, the best player possibly to answer this. Um, Mike, when, when you had to go off towards the end um, and also Coach Relton, the, the point guard position, uh, it's really over the, over the last over the last few months it's it's been something that's caused the Tigers so much so much stress because you've had to yeah the, Mike was there then Ben Uzo was there Mike Mike came back come to the tournament maybe without a little bit of of depth um, in that position specifically so Mike having to go off then did you feel did you guys feel like that that might just be the end of the game or did you always have a plan? No, so our, our plan was, um, but before I go to our plan, we actually have Celepe as a point guard, Festile as a point guard, Mike is a point guard. So we have three point guards in the team. Mm -hmm. um, but our plan initially was to, when Mike comes off, Jamel is point guard. Jamel controls the game very well. So I was not worried at all. Um, and at that time, I always say in our time was we st stick together and everyone stick together to what we planned out of the timeout onto the court? I wasn't worried. You know why? The whole team was in the game. So you could have inter, 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 interpreted anyone in and uh, intersected anyone else into the game and it would have been locked in. The whole bench was clapping the whole time. The whole team spirit was so high that you could have put anyone else in that game and they would have contributed. So that's a testament for the team that we are. Each guy was fighting for their brother tonight, you know, and it showed on that court. And that's how you have guys that can come off the bench like Ben and, 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 and have big shots for us. That's how you have someone like Liam that comes in there for four minutes, big time rebounds and, and is in there deflection shots and deflecting the ball and doing great things for us. That's a testament of the guys that are in that locker room. You know what I mean? Everyone was in that game the whole way through and no panic and you know, God's good sometimes. You know, the basketball guys are on our side. You feel me? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, bravo. <laughs> Yes, coach. So you you represent Cape Town. You're from Cape Town. You represent South Africa as a team. Both of you. What does it mean to you? What will you share with your family? Uh, what's happening back home? Well, um, I've put a lot of time into team from 2019. So I'm sure when I put my phone on, my fiance is now watching. There's a thousand messages. You know, she analyzed the game. When I look, she's saying one, two, three, four. So. I'm very happy for myself, I'm happy for the team, I'm happy for Cape Town, and we've shown that South Africa and Cape Town can compete on the African level. I've mentioned earlier on my interview, the first interview, that South Africa haven't played competitive the last five years. I think this is the beginning to show Africa that South Africa is here to compete, not only to participate. Great. And to add on to that, honestly, <laughs> uh, not only is it a big win for Cape Town and the whole South Africa, this is just showing the level of basketball in Africa, period. I think this shows that the game is growing. This shows that we have players that are capable of not just playing here. They can play anywhere. You can stick them in China. You can stick them in Europe. But guess what? We're building a league here that's here to stay. And that's what we're showing. So um, that's a blessing. You know that we're a part of this. Coaches are part of history. I'm a part of history. All 12 guys in that locker room are part of history. And yeah, let's continue to grow this league and make it what it's supposed to be, the best one outside the NBA. I truly believe that. Thank you very much. Um, good night, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a great one.